Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody left me a question on one of my videos. And I'm sorry, I'm just getting, getting to it. I was out of town. But we're going to contour this thing two inches to the outside. And what she was state, well, you know what? Let's do it just a half of an inch to make it a little bit smaller. What they are saying that when they doing it for the, and then they want to print it off for the customer and they change their page to like 8.5 by 11 to print it off on a printer. Let's turn this thing, uh, let's rotate it. You can't really even rotate a contour uh, because it's, it's a fixed problem right now. But, well, just forget it for right now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna reduce it to fit on that page. But the contour becomes very large, much larger than it was. So what you could do in that case, if this is that scenario, you need to select it all, go up to object and break contour apart. Then you could actually do this, and it doesn't really matter because it's a hairline, but you've got several objects and you could click right here, scale with object. Now we should be able to rotate this guy, so let's select it all, and let's rotate it 90 degrees so it'll fit on the paper, and then let's reduce it. Now your contour is relatively the same, at least the same looking size. I don't think it's gonna be a half inch anymore, but let's just test that, uh, because we've made it quite a bit smaller and no, it's not, It's but it's relative to the picture of the side that they're gonna contour it. Anyway, I hope that answered their question and thank you for watching. Now, before I let that go, I would make a copy of it and then reduce it and then you'll have your original if, you, if that's what you're gonna cut out on your laser. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.